Hey there YouTube, to Extreme Linux here, and today I'm going to talk about uh, poor fuel flow on your quad. Um, with the YFZ450, um, I've noticed a few people have been having some issues with uh, running at wide open throttle, fifth gear down a straightaway, and all of a sudden the four wheel they're just dying. Um, this is usually caused by um, lack of fuel. Um, there's two possible causes that I'm going to show you here today. Um, the causes are either the cast cap vent right here, either inside here, the ball that actually cuts the fuel off when you or uh, seals the tank from leaking when your four wheel flips upside down, could be stuck in this closed position. Um, or you could have dirt in your vent line. Uh, very easy to check a vent line. If you don't have one of these little caps on it, you can look down the hose. Um, if you do have a cap, um, what you can do is just give a short little suck through the hose and it should draw air right straight through. Um, another quick check for this is to just shake it. As you hear, um, that's actually a ball bearing moving around. Um, that pretty much means that it's not stuck, but there could be a clog. To check that, all you have to do is remove these three bolts. And I'm going to do that now. Now be careful with these three bolts because there are little washers on them. So that way you don't lose the washers. Once you remove those bolts, this whole metal piece will come right out. And you got to be careful when the metal piece comes out because this plate right here, when the plate comes off, there's a bearing behind it. As you see here, this bearing goes in that little square hole. Now what you can do is look through the square hole and see if you can see if there's any clogs in there. Um, with this one, there's not. Um, I tore it down last night and cleaned it out already. But... Um, that's one thing you check, make sure it's clear. If it's clear, you can go ahead and throw it back together. If not, you want to clean it out really good. So you just put it right back on the cap. Make sure your holes line up. And tighten it right down. You don't want to tighten it too tight because the cap is plastic. And you can damage the cap itself, the threads for the screws here. If you tighten it down too tight, it'll strip right out and this part will fall right off into your gas tank. Alright, now we got the gas cap back together. What we're going to look at is the fuel on-off switch. Now this fuel on-off switch um, can get clogged with dirt, um, anything that gets poured into your tank and pretty bad habit of having it happen so what we're gonna do um, you want to drain your tank um, completely and what you need to do is you need to take this off there's gonna be two screws Phillips head screws at the bottom um, they will be in there pretty tight you want to remove these two screws now when you take yours apart it will have these little things on it. One will be down here, and one will be up here. It'll actually look like this. Now, one of the things I recommend doing is I re recommend pulling these off, getting these off, because um, these will actually um, lessen the fuel flow. Um, so, yank these off. When you yank these off, you want to make sure before you ride your quad again to get an inline fuel filter. Um, cut your fuel line right about midway and put an inline fuel filter in there instead. Um, that way, um, it will still keep the fuel filtered out. Let's take off the Phillips head screwdriver here in the front. That actually activates the valve. You see here, take this piece right off. And then you got your face plate here, it has two screws. You want to be careful taking these off. 
because behind the plate is a wavy washer and that wavy washer actually keeps pressure on the switch so that way there are no gas leaks out through here. Alright, we've taken it off. See this plate? Got the plate out of the way. And right behind it, you'll see here's the wavy washer that I was talking about. And then you got your unit here. You just wiggle it back and forth and it should come right out. It takes a little bit. Now, sometimes a little o ring comes out with it. If it doesn't, it's still inside. Um, what you want to do when you get to this point is you want to look in to all the holes, check and see if there's anything clogging it up. It's a big hole at the bottom. Um, look in from the fuel line outlet. Make sure you don't see anything and they're clogging it up. If you don't see anything clogging it up, um, what I do is I take a little bit of grease, put it back over the black area, put some grease back on the O-ring, put this unit, put the O-ring right over your on-off valve. Now you'll see on the on-off valve that there's like a groove part way around. Now you want that groove on a few outlet side. So all you do is just slide it back together. Go ahead and put your wave ring back in. Put your plate on. Reserve goes up towards the stems. And you want to be careful when you tighten these screws back up because you don't want to tighten them too tight. You just want to get them nice and hand snug. And once you get it down to a certain point, you want to put the other screw in before you tighten them down. And then tighten them a little bit at a time back and forth. So that way you don't damage that wave ring. Alright. Alright, we'll tighten it back down. A little snug. They're good. Take your actual lever here. Um, always... It only goes on one way. You can't get it on any other way. Um, I always have it. So that way I know. Tighten her right down. And then before I put it back on the tank, after I've made sure there's nothing clogging anything up, I'll take a little grease and put it right along the gasket here. It's actually an O-ring style gasket. Put a bunch of grease around that. And then you just put it right back on your forward. Right back on the gas tank. And if you've removed those two screens that I showed you, you're going to want to definitely get yourself an inline fuel filter. Um, removing those screens will actually increase the fuel flow um, dramatically. Because those screens do limit the amount of fuel that flows down the line inline fuel filter is much better to work with. When you're tightening these bolts, don't tighten them too tight because they do tighten into the metal inside the plastic and they will rip through the plastic. But that should actually help fix two of the poor fuel flow issues. Um, if this helped you, um, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll be doing some more videos, and again, this is Too Extreme MX. I hope this video helped you out, and have a good one.